Welcome back to Educator. We are in the Calculus 1 sequence looking at the first derivative test and the second derivative test for finding local minima and maxima. And so I'd like to take a look at this polynomial function. We do have a graph of it for you to look at, but pretend the graph wasn't there and we'll look at how these two tests, the first derivative and second derivative test, could find all the local minima and maxima for us. So the starting point, again, is computing the derivative f prime of x. And so we'll get 12x cubed minus 24x squared plus 12x. And I'd like to set that to 0. So I'm first going to do a bit of factoring here. So I have 12x times x squared minus 2x plus 1. So I have 12x times x minus 1 quantity squared. I'm going to set that to 0 and I'll get x equals 0, and I'll get x equals 1. This function's derivative is defined to find, to find x of weird stuff happening with vertical asymptotes. And so I'll go to the first derivative test, and I'll set up a number line. And on this number line, I'll look at the plus or minus sign of f prime. And the critical values here are x equals 0 and 1. The derivative is 0 at those points. And I'll look at the three intervals that 0 and 1 sort of divide the number line into. And I'll look at a test point in each. So for example, f prime of negative 1 would be 12 times negative 1 times negative 1 minus 1 quantity squared, which is negative f prime of, let's say, 0.5 would be 12 times 0.5 times 0.5 minus 1 quantity squared, which is positive. And f prime of, let's say, 2, something past 1, would be 12 times 2 times 2 minus 1 squared, which is also positive. And so we're getting a situation in which we have negative slope, zero slope, positive slope, a local minimum at x equals zero. Then at x equals one, we have positive slope, zero slope, positive slope. So neither a local min nor a max at x equals one. And so you can see that yes, the graph indicates we do have a local minimum at zero. And this point here is neither a local max nor a local min. So I'll write that in. You wouldn't have to write this in, but I'm just writing it in so we can take a look at it. Probably you would be asked just to find the local minima and maxima. OK, now let's look at how the second derivative test would give us the same results. So using the second derivative test, we need f double prime of x, and we get 36x squared minus 48x plus 12. And let me factor out a 12, and I'll have 12 times 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. And I need to evaluate f double prime of 0 and f double prime of 1. At 0, we get 12 out, which is positive. And we have a concave up situation, indicating our local minimum like we expected. Now, notice that f double prime of 1 is 0. And so the second derivative test is inconclusive regarding what happens at x equals 1. However, the first derivative test did the job for us. So again. The second derivative test is usually faster and easier to apply, but if it's inconclusive, then you can go back to the first derivative test. And so here our conclusion is that we have a local minimum at x equals 0, and that is the only local extremum that we have here.